next on the agenda, um, is there a motion to approve awarding the Haplon Morning Maintenance Services request for proposals to the successful bidder, La Rares for Season Lawn Care Service, and to authorize for township um, officials and the township attorney to negotiate a contract consistent with this award. Is there a motion? Is there a motion? No. All right, it's been motion. Is there a second? It's been motion and second. Any discussion? Um, I had concerns about it too because I think it's a great program for young people. Um, but I did talk to Stan Brown, who's over that program, and what he said is they only have nine employees right now cutting grass, so they do need the help. Because I, I I wanted to know if Zach was going to be or Hap was going to be replaced, um, or if uh, you know it was going to be like a work together kind of thing. And he said right now it's just supplemental, and they do really need the help, but they need somebody that can come in and kind of commit to it because people are all, all over the place and residents do complain about the high grass and about not getting service on time. So I think it is very important for us to be able to supplement the program until we can get young people in. So if you do know anybody that needs a job or wants a summer job, have them apply because we do need the assistance right now. Is that or have them Please let me uh, say this as well. Because we both had conversation with uh, Mr. Brown about the uh, lawn care service. One of the more important things is the fact that, and, and I heard the young lady when she talked about recruitment and things of that nature, those, very pertinent, those are very, very pertinent issues. But the one thing that continues to happen that we need to be cognizant of is the fact that it's just too many of these young kids that are not passing these drug tests. And two years ago, I know that we had an uh, issue where somebody, what did he cut off his foot or something, or his toe, or his finger. You know, I'm not saying that he was under the influence, but the fact of the matter is, we need to make sure that the right things are being done when we hire people for something like that. Cutting grass, putting their hand on lawnmowers, weed whackers, things of that nature. So we are having that as a challenge, and that's something that Mr. Brown's steady working on. So please give us that opportunity as well. Thanks. All right, um, in a discussion, please call. What else you got? Is to enter into this agreement, but it also says that it's to be negotiated. How do you enter into an agreement if you don't know what the cost is? If I can, if I can clarify, please. So the, the it was awarded at thirty-five dollars per cut, and so the things that need to be negotiated because the contractor did not present an actual contract that it's like indemnification, insurance, and other items to protect the village, I'm sorry, to protect the township. So because of that, we need to have a contract that lays all that stuff out. And if you notice, it does say consistent with the award. And the award is at $35 per cut. So the price will be $35 per cut that will be in the contract. It's honestly just all the other legalese as it relates to contract cancellation, termination. No, they had to, no, they presented insurance. If you look in the board packet, the stuff that was presented, they did present insurance. He is, all right, call the wrong. You Let me finish. Trustee Jones. Trustee in Dallas. Trustee Gray Everett. You said yes. Trustee Carlisle. Trustee Carlisle. Supervisor Henry, motion passed. All right, is there a motion to adjourn? Is there a second?